Another example is uh, Children's Aid Society. Speaker, in 1998, this House passed a piece of legislation called the Social Work and Social Services Work Act. The whole purpose of that legislation was to ensure that there are standards across this province for social workers and social service uh, workers. It was to establish a college that would register social service workers and social workers so that there would be a disciplinary panel that people could be held to a standard of accountability. What has happened over time? This same government has actually found a way to circumvent that legislation that was intended to protect the public interest. Why? Because now children's aid societies are calling those social workers child protection workers. You know what that does? It ensures that every social worker working for a children's aid society is now not required to register as a social worker and therefore is not subject to those standards and therefore is not subject to the disciplinary process. And it is the government that has actually facilitated that circumvention. And so we have things going on in children's aid societies over which we have no control. It's going to take nothing short of an ombudsman going into those agencies and ensuring that the appropriate research is done and that these things are exposed. I know what's happening, Speaker, because you see, I was a cabinet minister too. And I know the discussions that took place, and I'm sure it took place in the NDP when they were the government. This government, our government, here's what happens. What happens is we don't want the ombudsman to have access to all of these things because it may well embarrass us. It's actually, it's actually cumbersome. We don't want those additional eyes, and we don't want that sun to shine in. And I say, Speaker, that we need that disclosure and that transparency. And our government, unfortunately, governments of all stripes have come to the point where rather than being willing to look at what the problem is and dealing with it, we circle the wagons. And we ensure that we protect our bureaucracy. We ensure that we protect those agencies. And rather than saying, let's get it right, Let's listen to the people who are affected by the social service, the public service, the educational services, our hospital. Let's listen and hear what is wrong with that administration and fix it. What we do is we circle the wagons and we defend. And in the meantime, innocent people continue to be hurt. People who cannot speak for themselves are left unprotected. And the whole purpose of this act and the reason that we're supporting it is because we believe it's gone on far too long. The act uh, that we introduced is called the, uh, actually uh, specifically, the Social Work and Social Services Work Act uh, 1998. 
Uh, this uh, was a piece of legislation that uh, was brought forward uh, by uh, the then uh, progressive conservative government um, and uh, I happened to be at the time uh, the parliamentary assistant uh, in the Ministry of Community and Social Services. Uh, so it was my responsibility uh, to bring this uh, piece of legislation through the legislative process, uh, which meant uh, that I had to uh, propose the legislation, uh, give guidance uh, through the committee process, uh, respond to any questions that uh, might be fielded about the legislation, and at the end of the day, uh, ensure that our caucus, our government caucus, was comfortable with the legislation, fully understood it, and uh, as well, uh, it was my responsibility to garner the support of the rest of the legislature as well. Uh, it was a real privilege for me, uh, as the parliamentary assistant, um, to have the carriage of a piece of legislation like this that uh, really goes to the heart, uh, I felt, of social justice. Uh, and, uh, you know, what uh, was made very clear to me uh, was that this legislation was actually the culmination of about 60 years of work by the social service uh, uh, faculty, uh, by uh, social workers over the years who had uh, approached numerous governments and asked for legislation that would give them the opportunity to be regulated as a profession, uh, to ensure that there are province-wide standards, uh, to ensure that there was a disciplinary uh, uh, facility within the legislation as well, so that if someone uh, was not conducting themselves in a professional way, that there would be actually a, a mechanism where complaints could be lodged, that the industry itself, the profession itself, would then be able to uh, address that and that there would be consequences, and those consequences in this particular uh, legislation would be that they would be deregistered as uh, social workers. I've had a number of discussions uh, with children's aid societies, for example. Uh, who, as I understand it now, are hiring uh, individuals who are trained as social workers and uh, they're not calling them social workers, uh, they're calling them child protection workers and because of that feel that these individuals, these employees don't have to be registered as social, uh, as social workers. Uh, that was never the intention of this legislation. In fact, what, what, what these organizations are doing, and in my opinion, what the children's aides are doing who are supporting this practice, is that they're intentionally circumventing this act. The purpose of this act was to ensure especially that children who are being served by social workers have professional service and are protected. You know, we, we don't, you know, lawyers are licensed and we have a governing body and no one can practice law without being a member of the governing body. Uh, the same thing if you're a physician, you know, uh, you've got uh, your, your body to, that you have to meet their requirements and the same with, with psychologists. And, um, this notion that we have about social workers that can choose to be registered or not be registered and as a result are governed by a cottage college or not um, it seems to me cannot be in the public's interest uh, and and the idea that that children's aid societies uh, don't hire registered social workers is is an abomination That whole issue requires um, intervention. It probably requires government inter intervention. And 
people should be licensed, they should be governed, and it shouldn't say society should be required to hire people who are qualified and who are have to abide by a college and a code of ethics and a professionalism, which is goes back to the point that I think we need to back bring back professionalism into into the equation. For a children's aid society uh, whose mandate it is to protect children, to actually create a, a bureaucratic way uh, of allowing people to sidestep being registered as, as social workers or social service workers is unconscionable. And uh, it's something that really needs to be dealt with.